Hi and welcome back to Valida's Designs and Fresh Folds. Today I've been playing with some Easter decorations. I should have had these done way before now but I haven't just hadn't been well so I'm trying to rush and get them done and I finished a door reef which I just put on my last post and I did an egg an egg garland and well it's plastic round eggs. This one here I'm doing another egg garland but it's with designer paper and what I've done they're all double sided but what I did I bought this cookie cutter dies and they're from quick cuts and they're nesting balloons I didn't want to go out and buy Easter egg shape dies because I knew I'd only use them once a year and I thought these balloons can do the same thing if you tip them up that way they look like an egg and I can just either cut off that little piece or whatever and I can double up on some balloon dies and some egg dies so what I've done I've when when you get this you'll get four different sizes in the pack I've used the largest size here and I've cut Depending on how thick I guess your designer paper is, I've cut six different colours here and that will go through. So I'm going to, see that's my C plate that I've broken. I'm still using it but I've got to be careful I don't put that over the edge and actually bend one of my dies on the edge. So I'm going to have to get a new one. So I'm going to lay all my layers down together so that gets done quickly and put that through. And I've got my whole six layers of balloons come out of that. Right, ready to go. Now what I do then, I'll just move this out of the way. There's some that I've already done. It's getting tangled. Okay, we're going that way. Okay, what I'm... I've been doing is putting gluing these together so I just put a little spot of glue up toward the top where that little tag on the balloon is and I just want to measure these so I get them similar width apart okay you've got to go right there and then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cut this little balloon flap off. I'm going to use that to my advantage and just glue that over. And that's going to close my little, um, what was a balloon, into an Easter egg shape. Now to finish off this side of it, I'm going to put a little bit of this fuzz down. And... I'm going to clip off then that little tag on that balloon and just run some quick dry glue around the edge and I'm going to glue my eggs together. So they were balloons but now they're Easter eggs. Okay and that's going to be my garland. I'm just going to continue on until I go right to the end of my garland and I'll show you a picture when I'm finished. Okay so here's my finished garland. It's really hard to show a garland stretched right out. It's really hard to take a photo of a garland stretched right out. But look it was really quick and easy to do. I found some of this really um, really pretty um, thread that I had tucked away somewhere and I put it on that and it looks really cute in the lounge room I've already tried it so I brought it back in to show you and take a photo of it so look, another idea that you can get um, a couple of uses out of the one thing and that's what I love, I love to do and I love to show you so I hope you enjoy and I'll catch you later, bye, thanks for watching